The holiday season is here, and along with your eggnog and pies, as you all know, there are some huge sales going on. As a matter of fact, this last Black Friday and Cyber Monday was a record breaker. Over 196 million people decided to go into the stores and take advantage of those deals. Now we admit, we did buy some things on Black Friday, but we did hold back. Now we held back for a number of factors, but primarily because we decided we wanted to be financial minimalists, especially this holiday season. Since we're practicing financial minimalism, we thought it would be a good idea to let you in on our reasons, so maybe you'll follow the same practice too. The number one reason why we are practicing minimalism for this holiday season is because we wanna control our credit card use. Credit card spending is increasing. As a matter of fact, credit card balances are up 15% just this quarter, which is the highest it's been in over 20 years. Outside of credit cards, the buy now, pay later industry is flourishing. There are tons of people that are taking advantage of this new option of buying things now and paying in installments. A lot of people are interested in using this buy now, pay later, but for us, we feel like this is just another credit card without the credit card actually being in your hand. It's very easy to use this type of concept of buy now and paying later and end up actually paying much more later than you actually wanted. Now, one of the reasons I'm limiting my credit card usage is because the credit card companies are trying some sneaky tactics and they're amping up right now. One of those tactics is increasing your credit limit. Now, I don't know if you're one of the lucky few, but I just received an email saying, hey, congratulations, we just increased your credit limit by $20,000. Now, I didn't request this credit limit increase at all. What it is is an incentive from the credit card companies to get me to buy more things this holiday season. I look at that as a sign of, hey, scale back, use your debit card instead, instead of trying to play along with these credit card companies and getting myself into debt. Now, in order to help limit my credit card usage, like I said, I use my debit card. On top of using my debit card, I only look at things that have a very deep discount. I'm talking about at least 60%. And it's only on things I actually really, really want or actually need. I'm not looking at any other deals and I'm staying away from all the commercials and everything else they're showing right now. What I've decided to do to help control my credit card spending is actually do two things. I've decided to make a list and I've also decided to put a budget along with that list. Having a list in a budget allows me to plan in advance and not fall victim to those impulse buying opportunities that I find myself in frequently. I definitely wanted that waffle maker that I saw online, but I went back to my list and told myself it's not on my list, then it's not in the budget, and therefore I don't need it right now. As a matter of fact, I practice planning in advance, not just for the holiday season, but all year long. I usually give myself two to three months in advance to plan out and make a list of what I wanna buy and put a budget to it. If you haven't tried this tactic in the past, you might wanna try it in the future because it's definitely had an impact on my life make it easier for me to make decisions and also not stress about where my money is going in the near future. The second reason why we're practicing financial minimalism this holiday season is because we want to take advantage of better buying opportunities. Although Black Friday and Cyber Monday were awesome for retailers, this spending has some economists nervous. They're looking beyond the current numbers and they're trying to figure out why people are spending so much money right now. Did you know that over 60% of Americans live check to check? Now, what's happening here? This is on top of food costs going sky high to the point that retailers like Walmart are getting new customers in who have never stepped into their stores in the first place looking for cheaper food. Some economists believe the reason why people are spending a lot of money right now is because they're fearful they may not have that money in the near future. So they're spending money right now because things are on sale because they don't believe they will be able to pay for it later on. If that's the case, these big stores that are posting profits will likely start posting losses 
or they will keep dropping their prices in order to keep those customers coming into their stores, which will affect their earnings. The chance of a recession happening in 2023 is getting a lot higher. And if that's the case, then that means the stock market will also go down along with these companies' earnings going down. Now those facts and figures that Nadia mentioned might be sad for some, but to those of us that are holding on to our cash and being patient, this will be a great buying opportunity and a great way to increase our wealth. As a matter of fact, the last recession back in 2007 to 2009 was when Nadia and I were able to really increase our wealth. If you're interested in building wealth, we suggest that you hold the money that you're thinking about spending and actually hold it into these great buying opportunities, big or small, that are coming up in the future. This holiday season is a great time to not get distracted by all those sales that the retailers are doing, but instead learning how to practice patience so that you can get into the stock market when the time is right. If you're afraid that you don't know enough about the stock market now to take advantage of the stock market when it's a great buying opportunity sometime in the near future, then we suggest that you don't worry. Just check the resources that we have in the description of this video. We're here to help you and we're gonna show you exactly what you need to know to take advantage of the stock market. The third reason why we're being financial minimalists this holiday season and practicing financial minimalism is because we want our kids to value experiences more than they value their presents and material things. Now, don't get me wrong, we are buying our kids presents for Christmas and for the holidays, but we wanna focus more on experiences they will have so they can remember them longer. For instance, I'm taking a vacation and we're doing road trips so we can spend more quality time together and really get to enjoy the holiday season for what it really is for. As my kids get older, they're in more activities and they have crazy school schedules, so we don't get to spend as much time as we used to. These road trips and these little experiences and vacations that we get to spend together bring us closer and it will allow us to make memories with each other that will last a long time. You know, along with Nadia saying experiences, I really believe that too, because you know, right now my kids are being bombarded by commercials about toys and gadgets and they're coming straight to me after watching it and saying, mommy, guess what? We want this, we want that. And on top of that, there's a company called Honey that you can spend money and actually save money at the same time by using them. I think it's hilarious and it's a very interesting thing to watch how commercials can influence your thinking. Every time they come to me with something they've seen new on a commercial, I try to remind them that I have a budget set aside and instead of buying everything that you see, I have actually decided to spend money more on experiences. I've actually set aside a lot of my holiday money for ski lessons and also investing in good ski equipment for my children. I think skiing will be a lifelong skill that they can learn and learn to enjoy more often than the toys I can buy them this holiday season. And it's a skill that I wish I learned at their age, but wasn't able to due to money. At the end of the day, the reason why we practice financial minimalism, and especially during the holiday season, is because we don't want short-term desires to impact our long-term wealth. We are very intentional about where we spend our money, especially during the holiday season, so that we can have things that last longer than just the holiday season. If you wanna know more about financial minimalism and how we actually practice it on a day-to-day -day basis, check this video that's coming up next. And as always, thank you for watching that video. And if you want to show these twins some love, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next video.